And today's project is for the ladies. Most of what I've done in the past is more on the masculine side. So I decided to try my hand at some more feminine stuff, as you may have noticed in some of the previous videos. So today, I'm going to make a women's long wallet. Whit and I put our heads together to try and come up with a good, simple uh, design, yet something that's still really functional. And we'll see what the response is like, but this might be something that we actually put into production. Since I inevitably get this question on every video, I'm going to be using a three to four ounce oak skirting leather, uh, probably a brass button snap, uh, white size 92 thread, and I'm gonna be sewing it up on my Stitch Master. So this should be a pretty clean, simple project. Uh, I'm completely starting from scratch on this one, so I don't have any dies, anything to go off of. I'm gonna hit Adobe Illustrator and uh, draw this thing up first. I'll print it out, cut out my pattern, and get working. So I'm gonna do a really quick run through on how I come up with a pattern on Illustrator. So I'm not gonna get into this too much. There are lots of tutorials out there uh, that help you learn how to use the basics of Adobe Illustrator. Uh, I'm just gonna give you kind of a brief synopsis of how I run through a pattern. The good thing about this application of Illustrator is you really only need the most basic tools we're just creating shapes and lines and, uh, and playing around with it for a little bit till you get something you like. So the first thing I always do is I take the object that is going to be housed by the product I'm making. In this case, it's gonna be credit cards and dollar bills. And I start from there and then work out from that. So I just ran a quick Google search and I grabbed the dimensions of a US dollar bill as well as a credit card. And I'm uh, gonna draw those out using the shape tools like the rectangular tool. On the credit card, there's actually a little radius on the corner, so it actually tells you in, on, on Google, I was able to find the uh, general radius of that credit card. Uh, it's not super important, but if you can start out with something really accurate, you're more likely to end up with a more accurate, precise fit for what you're trying to make. So, so I just drew out a rectangle that's 3.37 inches by 2.125 and I'm gonna give it a little radius of about 0.15, and we have a credit card. And I'll do the same thing with the dollar bill without the radius, make sure the size is right, and then I'm just gonna start drawing all the shapes and a basic outline of what I need this wallet to look like. And uh, yeah, and we'll get rolling.
okay, we got this thing mostly put together. The last couple steps are going to be to just make the stitch all the way around the perimeter and then adding that last button snap now that the two layers are together. Just a quick little tip, I usually like to do a quick sanding on the edges like I just did uh, before I make that stitch because if the edges are uneven, then you might ruin your stitch. So just make sure your edges are nice and sanded down and level and uh, your stitch is gonna turn out real nice. All right, let's go finish this thing up. I was a little bit afraid of this heading into this project, but there are a few things that I need to change now that I've seen the finished product. One of those being this cover flap here for, with, with the button on it needs to be quite a bit longer. It needs to come down a little bit further down the front and uh, maybe be more centered in the overall wallet. Uh, mostly because the, the panel's not really covering the corner of this wallet, so as, over time, as it gets used and gets full, it's gonna try and push out. And um, anyway, the whole it, it'll kind of defeat the purpose of having this flap. This is supposed to keep it all together. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but that's something I can change. However, I am going to leave the pattern exactly the way it is because if I make it any bigger, it's not gonna fit on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. In fact, <laughs> unfortunately that very reason kind of drove my decision on how big to make this wallet to begin with. Uh, I really wanted to make it fit on a letter sized piece of paper so that you guys can buy this pattern and try it out for yourself. But just keep that in mind. If you're gonna make this for yourself with our pattern, you may want to uh, lengthen the top just a little bit, uh, just kind of according to your preference. Maybe you like it how it is, but also, I was a little frustrated because I got a little bit of edge paint on the front of the leather. Ugh, it happens. It's definitely something you have to be aware of when you're using edge paint. It's just the risk you gotta take. And uh, it really doesn't happen often. And I'm always surprised that it doesn't happen more often, but it happened on this project. <laughs> but that's okay. This is just a sample. Uh, mostly just needed to make sure that the pattern works in case I wanna go order some dyes and put this into production. 
I put the stamp on the back of it there because you guys know how I am with logos. I like things to be super subtle. I don't want big gaudy logos on the front of anything. Um, you know, I really don't want it to be the first thing you see when you, uh, when a product catches your attention. So I've got the logo on the back. When you open it up, there are some slots down here for cards. There's an ID window slot here for driver's license. And then uh, this slot right here is, is meant to house your bills. Full length, which is beautiful. You don't get that in a lot of our wallets. So, um, and I believe that you could also fit bills in the two hidden pockets down here as well. So that's it, it's pretty useful. A little bit more feminine than our other products. I'll probably give it to Wit and let her try it out and just see how she likes it. Maybe we'll end up changing some things on it, but uh, overall, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Let's read some comments. We haven't done that in a while. This is from the last video I posted, making a leather billfold wallet. This is from Farming Fishing Family Ontario. He said, I've noticed how crappy wallets are at stores now, the everyday big batch offshore made ones. I appreciate quality and the workmanship. Every wallet is not created equal. Well, that's awesome, thank you. I'm glad you recognize that. Uh, Kimberly Marcy said, loved getting to see the new machine on a project. I'm picking mine up this Tuesday and cannot wait. That's awesome, Kimberly, glad to hear that. I also use the Stitch Master for this project and it just works beautifully. I'm really getting the hang of it and I, I like it a lot. Jesse H says, what kind of contact cement is this? The wallet looks great. Thanks, Jesse. Right here, this is what I'm using. This is bar cement. Uh, you can get the gallon from Tandy. I love that you had old Hank playing while you worked. <laughs> That's from Eloise Miller. I'm glad you recognize that. Uh, that would happen a lot more often if I wasn't worried about getting our videos flagged. All right, that's it for tonight. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to go like the videos and subscribe if you haven't yet. I hate saying that. It's just so like YouTube-y. <laughs> But if you'd like to support us so that we can keep doing this, that's the best way to do it. Go subscribe, uh, like the video, share them on Facebook. It's free, I'm not asking any money from you. <laughs> but seriously, thank you guys so much. I'm already excited for the next one. Love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.